stage when we perform, we're able to use that experience to sort of put on what we think is a pretty good show. So it's been a great help. I guess nowadays we still, because we're still musicians, even though we do dance music, mm. we don't listen to that much dance <coughs> music. We kind of listen to a lot of um, bands. LBC. <laughs> <laughs> I love LBC. We listen to loads of bands. Um, Stuff like the Kooks, Coldplay, uh, Killers, Kings of Leon. So we don't really listen to the music that we make. Um, and then kind of more abstract stuff, uh, some Diplo type stuff. You are the, by the single was a bit of a surprise. It was a surprise. Again. We kind of just put it out on YouTube, didn't we? Yeah, we didn't Forgot expect about anything it. to happen and before yeah. we knew it was playing on like, Kiss of Heaven and stuff. Yeah, and, so uh, and it to our yeah. yeah, so it's just we hope people stay interested, and um, we hope it's sort of what's the right type of what's coming next. PEP and so yeah, they were great because they 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 have a real understanding of dance music. Yeah, and they know what they're doing. Mm. Um, all the guys there have been um, really cool. Yeah, really passionate about what we're doing. And yeah, because they're independent, they allow you more freedom, you get more say. When remixes are made of the track, they always send them to us first to listen. Yeah. When mastering is done, they send them over to us, artwork and everything. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate sort of the worth ethic of all your donuts and the whole approach of getting, making sure the artist is really happy. I've got the 